I'm now in charge of a project, a um, specific program dedicated to uh, solar to fuel, which is the program five in the frame of the new uh, roadmap of IPVF. The idea is definitely to go further than what we can do in the frame of IPVF. IPVF has the strong expertise in the PV field and we would like to use this specific expertise to go to the potentiality to produce new, new types of products. So that's a, an exciting project because we have to consider uh, the CO2 emission as a real problem for the future given the climate deregulation. And so we have to find solutions to capture CO2 and ideally to utilize this CO2 as a source of uh, chemistry. And this is possible thanks to the PV and thanks to the electrochemistry because you need energy for this and renewables approach is a green way to produce this. Typically, solar fuel consists in uh, using the light uh, as the energy source to uh, finally uh, produce new types of molecules. For example, you can use CO2 as the raw material and you will decompose the CO2 to transfer it in new types of molecules such as fuel. And you can also imagine using hydrogen as a target and in this case you will use the energy of the light to decompose the water and to produce hydrogen. And hydrogen is a key molecule for the future. So that's the challenge using the expertise we have and uh, actually to use it in the specific field where, where you are at the border between PV, material science and the electrochemistry. In the frame of the solar to fuel program here, we would like to develop a specific system which we can call this artificial leaf. So it's a, a PEC photoelectrochemical cell. And so in this case, we have to first to do the first prototypes. And then of course we can imagine uh, going further into a system. And in this case, we can imagine that within five and 10 years, we, can, we will have a real solution to valorize CO2. We can also imagine creating some new businesses issued from some program. Typically, solar to fuel can be the possibility to create new businesses for the future.